Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. It's Friday, and that means another episode of Friday's Finds. Got this big old long box that showed up on the front porch. Pretty sure I know what it is because of who it's from. I've spoken with this company about a couple of items. Let's, let's get the box open and we'll find out if it is what I think it is. Kind of heavy on this front end. It is spring. If I waited for the mower to stop, I'd be here. <laughs> I'll be here all week, waiting on the mower to stop. It's funny, got this big long box, and this package only takes up a piece of it. All right, we have a, we have a new channel sponsor, and that would be Hyiska. They are, they're an Amazon vendor. All right, I'm excited about this one. It's not like I don't already have one, but I don't have one quite like this. I was hoping to find some <laughs> an instruction sheet. That would be very helpful. Let's see if there's one rolled up in here. I don't see one. I guess I gotta wing it. So I'm gonna reset. We're, we're gonna set this up here at uh, at RV Base Camp before we head out into the wilds. I don't want to be out on some lo remote location trying to trying to do this. So I'm going to go and I'm going to I'm going to assemble this here on, at RV Base Camp. Once it's assembled, we'll talk about it. I'll I'll do some time lapse showing uh, how it goes up. How I mean, it'll be a first time for me to set this particular tent up. Yes, it's a tent. Well, you can't have enough tents, I don't believe. So anyway. Let me go get some cameras put in place and we'll set this up and then we'll talk about it. So I'm working with the Hisika TP tent. Hisika. There's, there's, oh! There's some things I like and some things I don't like. Let me fix that first before it takes the rest of the tent down. So there's some things I like and some things I don't like. I'm gonna talk about the things I like first. Number one, I really love that I have a TP screen shelter that doesn't take up a whole lot of room. It'll fit just about anywhere. It's, it's a nice compact package. So if we're, if we're camping, and we just need protection from the bugs, we can pop up a TP screen shelter and we're good to go. I like that it's big enough for me to stand up in. As you can see, I'm, I'm standing up and the top is eight feet tall. I like that. 
I, I like the rain fly concept so that we get some some airflow coming through but we're protected from the rain i really like the big wide double door so if you don't have a bug issue you can leave that open and you're protected from the elements somewhat i, I like the fact that it, it doesn't weigh very much and it's very compact it gives us a lot of, a lot of covered space let's talk about some of the stuff that i don't care for first and foremost there's no instructions so, so you, you you're kind of winging it you got to figure it out as you go the the rain fly the the canopy tent the canopy that goes out here that employs that i have no idea how to how to do that uh, but with the wind it might not be doable anyway i don't know i don't have any instruction i find it a bit cumbersome that the, the the rain fly cap that the cap up there i find that to be a little bit cumbersome but if you're setting up for a couple days it's not a big deal uh, if you're setting up for a, a one-nighter this tent may not be a, a great tent for for a one night a one night stand in a couple of days i'm going to be on the road and we're gonna we're gonna test it in a real world environment meanwhile there's there's something else that i'm i'm not a big fan of and that is the the hasika tent it comes with these these little stakes yeah we got a bunch of them but i'm finding that as the wind buffets this they they pull out just a little bit and then they flip around and they come loose me personally i would prefer having bigger pegs at least for the the main screen inner part and the outer rain cap now the, so here's here's one of the things that really excites me about the hasika teepee is that it is a screen shelter a simple simple to set up screen shelter you put some stakes in the ground and then pop up a pole and you're you're in the bug free zone <laughs> And yes, I did sleep pretty good last night in the Hasika tent. I gotta say, I, I'm, I'm quite surprised. This actually turned out to be a much better tent experience than I expected. You know, this, this is probably one of some of the most adverse conditions for any kind of tent with, with the wind blowing the way it is. And I only had two real, really only two complaints last night. One is the rain shroud here.
pop, making a little bit of noise. And I had both doors open and the door up here was flapping, but I resolved that. Other than that, it was, it was quite comfortable. The insect mesh actually blocks a lot of that wind. So when I got in there and zipped things up, the wind really didn't affect me inside. Uh, it kept it cool in there because it's very well ventilated. Being so well ventilated, I don't think this would be a good winter tent. It would definitely be a great summer tent with the airflow going through there. Yeah, so it's a good three season tent. You're, you're not going to want to take it to the Arctic. Won't work well for that. Other than that, yeah, it's that's a, that's a good tip. I encourage you to check it out. The links are in the, in the description below, as well as in the card right up there. That is an, on Amazon. I certainly don't think you can go wrong with it. The Hasika. 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 The Hasika teepee tent. If you gained some value or entertainment out of this video, I'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have not already, I'd sure be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, I am most eternally grateful. That's why we're, that's why we're out here. That's why I get to talk to you about things like this. That's why I do what I do. Thank you so much for that opportunity. And for my patrons, thank you. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?